Let's ask Tom Lee. He is Fundstrat's head of research. He's here with me on set. He's also, of course, a CNBC contributor. It's great to have you here. Thanks for yeah. coming in. Great to see you, Scott. You did call yesterday's CPI a quote-unquote game changer. Why? Uh, I think it was uh, the first time that the market could see an improvement in some of the underlying drivers of inflation, from shelter cooling to the durable goods cooling, medical, which was really on fire, flipping. And it means it's, it's repeatable. You know, the Fed wants to see a series of lower inflation prints. And I think we're set up for the next few months of point two to point three or month over month. That's three and a half percent inflation. You said the, the key thing, a, a series of lighter inflation prints. This is just one. Correct. It's just one. But it does look really repeatable. Uh, again, because medical insurance only adjusts every 12 months, it went from being roughly 2% a month to a minus 4. So you're going to get minus 4 the next 12 months. And shelter, which has been on fire as much as 0.8, is now down to 0.6, but now it's converging towards where markets are. So it's a uh, I think it is very repeatable. So let's I mean, let's get serious about this move. How far do you think it can go? How long do you think it can last? The, I think that the June rally and the sort of false dawn pivot is a, is a minimum template that was about a 20 percent rally over 25 trading days. I think this one's going to be far stronger. Wait, wait, wait. Stronger than 20 percent? From the low. 20, at least 25 percent from the 3,500. So something that could carry us to 44 or higher. And that's because we have, for the first time, sort of the ingredients for the Fed to, to do a convincing pause, you know, to become, to go from being a higher in a hurry to one that's more predictable, one that the markets can deal with, but possibly now raise the question that maybe the last hike is going to be December and, and then uh, the Fed's done. Do you really believe that, that December is going to be the last hike for a while, that they, they do that and, and then they pause? Because their rhetoric... You know, even in the face of the report you yourself call a game changer, was still pretty hawkish. Yes. Um, I, Powell's made it very clear. He looks at forward inflation, not realized. You know, CPI is showing us what happened. If forward inflation is running at three and a half, a Fed at four and three quarters are, is actually quite tight. And that, along with we already see so many leading indicators of inflation being lower, that the Fed can move away from the hard data, see the job market cooling. Trucking is the most common job in 29 states. There's a lot of cuts in trucking coming. The labor market's softening up. I just think the case for accelerating inflation is, is over. You, you think, I mean, look, Jeremy Siegel, the Wharton School, was with me yesterday and said inflation's basically over. Yes. It's kind of hard to declare that at a 7-7 print on the, on the CPI. Yes, the stock market in 82 uh, bottomed when the inflation was around 7.5% on its way to 3. Volcker didn't pause it pausing or ending the fight until October. So 10 weeks before the Fed actually even offered a view, the stock market had already bottomed. Hmm. You've been advocating, Fang, for the duration for the most part, right? Yeah. Um, feels like those stocks are broken. No, yeah. I mean, it really does. It's kind of undeniable yeah, that they look that way. Yeah, it's been a terrible call. Uh, you know, I think FANG still has produced secular growth, but this year a lot of inflation companies, sensitive like energy and some industrials, produce growth that's much better. And you're right, they're crowded. I, I, think, I think you're right. I think the market's going to question FANG uh, for some time, but I, I think they should still be in people's portfolios because they're high return on equity companies. They solve inflation in the future. But that's not what people care about today. Well, I mean, I'm thinking of, you know, if, if the Fed, what do you think the Fed's going to do in December, by the way? Because, I mean, it all plays into the same conversation about these mega cap stocks and, and yeah. other areas of tech. I, I think the futures market has it right that they're looking at 50 basis points. And unless, you know, we start to get so much cooler inflation, you know, there's, I would say the odds are that it's either 50 or 25, not 50 or 75.